Oh my gosh. You guys. Look what I did! Yeah. Right. <laughs> y'all need to hold them up. So y'all want oh, two? Oh, those things is big. Sure. One? Two is fine. Two? two. Yeah, thank you. Nice. We're not going to take all your fish. Uh, well, hopefully we'll catch some more. If not, we'll come get these back. <laughs> <laughs> come on with it. Don't threaten us with okay. it. Okay. You got all these oh on the top ones. Uh, jug line. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're good. That's our five, What she saying? What? It's a catfish. What? Is something wrong with it? Oh, my gosh. Well, I mean. Shut up. How about saying? Grab the big one, babe. Uh-huh. She's still alive. That's uh. Ew, is it? It's breathing? Oh, that's still, that's not cool. That is really awful. I don't like killing things. So, on uh, yeah, his skin gonna be hard. Yeah. Since they're catfish, then yeah, you probably want to fry them. It probably okay, tastes okay. better in some corn meal. Dang. Okay. Yeah, because I was thinking about what we have. We got the grill. Golly. Oh, you have Jeez. a. Let me think. Okay, so do you got a cast iron skillet? I got you a cast iron skillet. All you need is some oil and cornmeal. Yeah, but I have oil. Yeah, okay. we can go get cornmeal. Okay. Oh, yeah, I've got an extra cast iron. I'll get it. All right, well, let me go on YouTube and figure out how to fry these. No, Ew, it's YouTube like... it. Ew. You can do it. Put, pull him by his mouth so he doesn't fin you. Like, just take him from the head. Oh, my gosh. Now, I probably won't pick I just wanted to touch the skin. I probably won't pick it up. Yes, you will. No. Just like that. Put my finger in there. In okay. Like and do like that. You can even do it from the bottom lip, which is even better. Do it right. Okay. All right. It's heavy. Woo. Oh my yeah, gosh, you guys. Hard. No, I'm okay. I'm alright. Oh my gosh, it's heavy though. Uh huh. It's really heavy. There you go. Okay, there I did go. it. I did it. Oh, all right. It's enough of that for me. Thank you. They are fat. Yes. Yeah, their bellies are so squishy, so you cut around that. Make mm -hmm. sure you don't eat that part. Okay. Yeah. I was looking at how and you see how this is. black stuff, I'll show you in a minute. I uh, brush that mm -hmm. and clean that because it it's kind of strong tasting. Okay, okay. They taste yeah. a lot better when they're... Or some people just cut that out completely, but it's it's good meat. Okay, it just, yeah. You just need to clean it out. And we're tight German, so we don't throw much away. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> this is intense. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you need some gloves. All well, you too. got left is a little bit of bone. Mm -hmm. See, and then I. Right. Okay. You want me to tell you how we're going to do this? Well, you start just laying flat and then get a good, if you got a good sharp pointed knife. Point it out. Yeah. And you just slit them right down. Oh, what kind of grease is now? Okay, so you take a really pretty strong brush and you are... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I get these at HEB. Okay. I found them there because you don't want them too loose because then you can't really brush this off. Okay. Oh, then, okay. So you're brushing it off completely. Yes. Gotcha. And then these are work real good for just, you know, two sometimes. Okay. Because if you can leave a little bit on there, you know, you can't taste it. But if you just leave all of that on there, it's yeah. kind of fishy tasting. Okay, okay. okay. All right. Let's see what you skin on. Uh huh. You want right. to try it? Yeah, you Is know, we'll it take it. Thing? Yeah. No, let me okay, let's go put it up there. All right. Can you get it? On the bottom, bottom seat. Woo! On the seat, that nail bag. Just 
This way you don't have to hold it. Yeah, right. Yeah. So just grab this right here. Yeah, hold down. Okay, look at you. And then just, you know, keep grabbing. Just go from side to side so you don't get it too uneven. Yeah. Where are y'all from? We're from Virginia. Oh my gosh, yeah. are y'all visiting? Are no, you? well, we're actually work campers. So we're working here as oh. well as, you know, camping here. Yeah. Good. Oh, this is so, I've never experienced, I've never like <laughs> done anything like this before. So it's a really cool experience. Oh, Thank like you. Green. Yeah, just pull it all the way down. Wow. And then you just grab this as you can. This is a little tougher. You just kind of have to and then pull up. There you go. And you've got the strength to do that. You're done. That's it. Yep. And then, Ms. Gordon, did, did he clean that one? We'll take this one over here and he'll show you how to start from the beginning. Gordon, are you done with that one? Oh. You will get the fly off it, babe. The fly. Right there it. This is the meat we're gonna eat. We don't want the flies on it now. Ooh! <laughs> Sorry. Got y'all a little see, wet. It just peels out just like that. And wow! It brings all those little bones with it. Oh, so now it ain't gonna have bones on that one. Yeah, that part shouldn't. The only the only bones you'll have in there if you get it peeled out good and clean are these the main skeleton. Okay. My goodness, it's like science class all over again. Uh -huh. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh my gosh. But look how much meat that is. That's a lot of it's meat. Insane. Yeah. Wow, there's like all kinds of organs in there. Yeah, yep. I'm gonna have to put a disclaimer on our YouTube. Like this is, <laughs> yeah, this is very, very intense. People with weak stomachs should not watch this video. Now, some of them will have a, a yellow bag right here mm -hmm. full of yellow stuff. Like you bile? Have. Yeah, it's, it's bile is what it is. Mm -hmm. If you happen to poke that, it's not going to ruin the fish. Just as soon as you can, rinse it. Rinse it, it, okay. Out. And I pretty regularly that when I'm doing this, I'll, uh, well, right there it is. See it? That this one right here there. is not, it's not real big. Okay. Mm. Uh, so if you bust that, you pretty much. Yeah, it, it just make sure you, you rinse it a little bit once, as soon as you can, because okay. but it, it, it won't hurt the meat. Unlike deer, when you hit the spleen, and yeah, it spoils the whole meat. Yeah. Really? Nice. Yes. I've only had me uh, deer meat once. And my mom put it in the crock pot and then barbecued it. Oh my gosh. You can't really tell. Nice. You cannot tell. It was really good. We I like that. See that? I like the strap down this the back. back. Oh, go ahead. See that big hump right there? Yeah, like it. That's kind of where it's going to break when you twist it. And so I always try to cut it a little bit from this side. And then. And just break it off. Yeah, and then it'll break a whole lot easier. And on a real big fish, you can't do that. You got to get a saw and saw it off. It, or I'm not strong enough to break the neck. Let's put yeah, it Yeah, we've just way. got one of these little fishing saws. Oh, you just saw yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Or when we get really mad, <laughs> <laughs> better ask <act> somebody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. Get it cut through. Now. Sometimes you got to come back and go in the other direction. Mm. And then this one, if you'll just grab a hold of that, it'll come out easier if you cut it a little deeper. Texas catfishing. Yes. Oh go. my goodness. <laughs> catfishing. You got it now? 
Thanks. Well, just, you kind of poke it in right here and you just follow that bone around. That's oh, no, that's, turn your knife the other direction. There you go. Yeah, and then just. So. Yeah, just keep it. You kind of got. Keep cutting here. Let me show you. You kind of put the, the point of the knife under the skin like that. Mm. And you just follow that bone around. Oops. Okay, now let him do it there. Okay. The rest okay. Of it. And okay. Well, he can get the other side now. Okay. There you go. Now just yeah, come up and kind of meet this one. All right. And then to give yourself something to hold on to, if you'll take your knife and slice it right there just a little bit to give you a point to blue skin right there. Can I bring it up? Yeah, yeah, bring it up and meet the other one. There you go. And I'll yeah. do that on this side also. Okay, now let's, and oh, then turn him over and cut him right here under the lower lip. Just a knife through there. <laughs> okay, that's good. Now we're going to go hang him up and, and put the hook through that hole right there. back and forth until you get it. That scan is no joke. Oh wow. There you are. Wow. And now wow. Uh, Take your pliers, oh, yeah, and get that in, and kind of pull up on it. Right here? Yeah, just wherever you can grab it there. Uh, there you go. There you go. He's doing too bad. I feel like I could do it after after watching him maybe like yeah. a couple hundred times right there you go yeah. say just one more yeah, yeah. One, more. Yeah, one, more. Yeah, one more time for me and then i'll get it yeah grab this piece here too and just kind of pull up on it and get it out of the way and then we'll go back to the table and okay and do wow. the rest and finish it up three dumpsters down there at okay. the end of the dirt road you'll okay. see them out there oh, okay be but careful always. babe and don't hit that thing yeah be careful okay now yeah, and then, then grab, well, finish finish cutting that off. There you go, cut it all the way back to that fin. Just like that, there you go. Now, if you'll take the knife and just cut it as far up, just kind of follow the, the mid thing and just slice it all the way up here and just cut that piece completely out. Be careful with it going down in there. <laughs> yeah, it'll, it'll wash off. Yeah. Gordon, you know, used to be a game warden, and when they uh, would get deer, take mm -hmm, deer, sure. and then they call the okay, sheriff's office, that, that you know, people, yeah. you have anybody that needs meat, mm -hmm. yeah. and they call and says, yeah, is it is it skinned and cut up and right. back packaged? Right. Okay, now right. Well, no, the yeah. it's a deer. Right, yeah. right. You know, yeah. I said, well, we don't want it. Or, then. Yeah. Well, well, first of all, if I'm hungry cut, enough, I'll figure out some off. way to get that sucker in a pan. Yeah, right Carl, here. The, the, see, the guy that was here, so he's got some game warden friends out of Polk County. Uh-huh. So, and Carl came to us from another park in Livingston, and Carl wasn't quite legal on his vehicles and stuff, so here comes the game warden one day, and Carl was <laughs> off, and he came pulling up and was looking in Carl's truck, checking his inspection and stuff, and I'm watching him, and I'm going, oh, shit, <laughs> you know, he's not legal. Well, sure enough, it was a friend of his, the game warden from Polk County, <laughs> brought him some deer, and he was just looking for ice chest and oh. for stuff to put it in. And we quartered it okay, up. Now we fed dogs. You can either we fed by people. Hand we or fed with the yeah, everything around. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Kind of 
And yeah, that was people are just crazy. They're not going to help themselves. No. No. Exactly. Right. Don't take, you leave the plier. I'll just no, use that was the pliers awesome. and reach in there and grab that stuff and just kind of pull it all forward. There you go. As many scary movies as I've watched. All oh, right, <laughs> right. And then, no, the, no comparison. Here's the, which has this float yeah. right there. Pull that back in. Right under there is going to be that uh, that joint I was telling you about a while ago. And just pull that completely back, or pull it towards the head, and it'll kind of peel, peel real easy. This is just a process. You takes. Crack. Yeah, something <laughs> broke. Look at there. <laughs> wow. And now take your knife and kind of, or well, or you can do it this way. Pull it. <laughs> like I know, right? <laughs> Still got some carpal tunnel left in there. Yeah, really. Okay, now oh, to get rid wow. of that fin. Remember a while ago I took the knife and I sliced it mm. right down the edge there on both sides. Oh, you want to do it? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 Light or sure. seltzer? Um, seltzer's fine. Okay. Thank you, Lam. You're welcome. Uh, Thank you. I don't even know y'all's name. Sorry, oh, Nibria. I'm Nibria. Yeah, Nibria. Oh, pretty. Thank you. And Daryl. That's common. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He had a prettier name. Than my other brother, Kim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My other brother, Daryl. Remember that one? Okay. There you go. Now I'll grab, take the, the pliers and grab that fin on the back part and it'll just, just kind of peel it up like that. Oh, wow. All right. Okay, well, yeah, go back and get that because that way you'll get all the bottom. Dale, you want a seltzer or a beer? Yeah, that's fine. A beer? He'll take a beer. I'm going to have to go buy y'all a case. Oh, yeah. As long as you can't go fishing if you can't drink a beer. Right. <laughs> it's hand in hand. Yeah. There you are. Now you just... Man, get your that. water hose. Yeah, you can cut that off too, unless you want, if you want to fry that tail. So my mother used to love those tails. So. <laughs> yeah. Really? Just yeah, they the used tail. to fry it just like that right there. Yeah. Lay it flat, mm -hmm. open, and tail and all, and that was your little crispy. Really? Yes. Yep. Oh my goodness, everybody has their little favorite crispy exactly. parts, right? Exactly. Yeah. There you go. Wow. That's wow, it. That's it. Okay, job. and then. Good job. <laughs> let's see. So she took the water hose in. and then rubbed this <laughs> thing. There you go. So. You just taught us the world. Yes. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. Oh, I don't think it's... Is it, no. no, I'm going to go dig out that cast iron and... Y'all got oil you got uh, You're good. That is so cool. Usually when we go, we go for three nights. All right, then we got to scrub it, babe. On the third night, we always have a fish fry. That is awesome. With our, you are my the sister best. and brother-in-law. Uh, of course, they... She's the first. The Thank friend you. Was, oh. was trying to die, died this morning. So. I heard y'all had a family illness. Or there was it's her friends, yeah. Oh, friends. sorry about that. Well, but he's... No, oh, he's been... It's, it's very been Ill. kind of nice for some time. Yeah. 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 Josefa and Danny, Teddy was telling me the other day that they've been married 63 years, and he doesn't know who she is. She came mm. in to see him, and she goes in every day in to preparing meals. To right, eat, right. They don't, they're not, nobody, sure. they don't have sure. enough people to make sure somebody's eating. Oh, I know. I so know she goes in and makes sure he eats, and when he, she walked in, she says, well, who are you? Yeah. Oh, man. See, you know, I think that's what killed. Heart. Yeah, I it think does. that's what killed during COVID with our elders being in nursing homes and going through Alzheimer's. I think that's what killed them. Because there you go. That's there was good. no we'll rent all this there was no you couldn't and... contact them. Yeah. You couldn't keep them, you know, at yeah. least going in a direction, but yeah, that's horrible. Okay, rinse it one more time there. Yeah, that's why we're out here. That is why we quit our jobs and yeah. move because Where'd we were like from? we came from Virginia. Oh goodness. Yeah. But yeah, so this how is, do you, you know, know those we just go from county to county, you yeah. know, the farthest we've probably been is 
with Dallas when her kids left there. But yeah. how did you find, I mean, how did y'all decide to come here? You know, how did you decide? Well, Iowa? so um, he is an artist. Uh -huh. So he's pursuing his music career. And I am, well, an aspiring travel blogger. So I want to do, you know, I want to travel and, of course, get paid to do it. Oh, yeah. So, so putting those two things together, I was like, well, one, he wanted to move out of Virginia because the music scene isn't that great. Uh -huh. So um, I was like, you know what? In order for us to really, like, move somewhere and make a drastic change in our lives, you know, as far as our careers go, uh -huh. I wouldn't mind living in my car to do that until we, you know, get a job and, you know, get the, the money that we're looking for. But then I was like, okay, if I'm willing to live in a car, why not just get an RV? Oh, so yeah. then I brought it to his attention, and he was like, an RV? No. <laughs> like, we're not, we're not doing that. So he's like, no to the RV. But then he started watching a few videos. And, you know, like, it's trending now yeah. on, you know, on YouTube and on other platforms. So um, after he watched a couple videos, he was like, okay, I'd be on board with that. So we've ended up, you know, finding a, a 1982 RV and then uh, we remodeled it and everything like that and then we just hit the road and then like tried I mean we knew we were going to be coming to Texas but we didn't know where so I joined a couple like um, RV Work groups camping. and all that kind of yeah. stuff like that and then watching all the uh, tutorials on YouTube people mentioned like work camping and where you can go and you get a full hookup site and then you also work there and all that kind of stuff like that so I was like, all right, cool. So I just started reaching out, you know, in the, in the, um, I put an ad out like in the actual group and people uh -huh. were, you know, recommending things like that. And then I also found, um, someone recommended the website, Happy Vagabonds, Vagabonds. And, um, so I went on there and then I found the ad for this place. And then I just, you know, well, went here, from there. Here you here are. You yes. are. Yeah. yeah. So, so do you want to do the rest, rest of them so you can get them on ice? Oh yeah. Okay. Put them on ice. Yeah, there's. I've got a trash bag in that ice chest for y'all. Yeah, got, that that bag is. For, um, okay, yeah, need, yeah, yeah, I probably need to clean them so you get them on. And ours yeah. is the same way. You know, we lived in Plano, and like I said, she was from Friendswood. I'm from North Texas. Um, with the '89 Fleetwood Southwind that we have, I actually won the money to do buy it do at another a one casino. Mm, good. And then, so we sold put everything in storage and um, she got her job remotely and the first place we looked up was workcamping.com. Dossier was at the first of the list. We called this place and they said we need you yesterday. <laughs> and I've been here ever since. Yeah. I mean it was just like awesome. yeah. everything fell into place and you yeah. know the opportunity it's all over the United States and that's yes. I mean whether it's work camping or harvest you know, you go to harvest farms uh -huh. and you help harvest. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's such a broad band of directions. You That's can what go. we were looking at. We were yes. looking at the beet harvest. Yep. Where you I can mean, make. The I mean, you can go cut tops off of weed in California all day long. Really? Yeah. Well, in yes. the wineries I mean, just, here. Exactly. Exactly. And you're, you can check on those wineries, and you yeah. could probably get a music job. Yeah. Really. The venues, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like, yeah, if we had some speakers here, I would already have y'all set up. <laughs> uh, I already have do you set sing up. with him? I do occasionally. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Yeah. And to me, I feel like an art, me and my partner's three girls are their age and younger, and I feel like, and her oldest just bought a class c and mm -hmm. has gutted it it's sitting on our storage right now oh. so she's following and she's seeing that this eight to five shit ain't for me yes. and yes you know I that can was work me for my rent and i can do did what you I cut want. it around yeah. the, did you cut it the babe you didn't cut the you didn't cut the skin cut the, did you cut it the fan oh he did oh he did and you cut down the back down this one go across oh, oh, yeah yeah, yeah. So so you can all the way um but yeah, the their generation, my kids' generation, our kids' generation, and them, they're not yeah, seeing that anymore. And they'll cut this way, cut oh, right okay. here. So cut around that fin. Where, remember, you take your knife and stick it right under the skin. Don't cut it too deep. Okay. But then you'll peel meat off. 
Yeah, remember he showed you, but he put it right under the skin and he turned it, turned the knife the other way. He turned the knife the other way. And then he put it right. Ew, I'm touching this. Oh my gosh. But uh, he put it right under the skin like that. Remember? So you just kind of stick it like that and go right around that fin. Oh my goodness. I touched the bloody knife. Oh, wow. Uh, Okay. You wash your hand. There's Gordon's got. Okay, water. he's got that. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll be. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna try to. But yeah, I love it. Yeah, oh, I, I love that this generation is not standing for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're like, screw the eight to five. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I'm gonna find my business and do it. You know how I want to do it, and yeah. it, it's it's different. You know, and I love it. I. I think it's awesome. Yeah. yeah, when I got my first job, I was like, Mom, how have you been doing this Monday through Friday <laughs> for the years that yeah. you've been doing this? Yeah. I, I can't. It's so it's so boring, yeah. number one. Over and over and over. And then and it's over. like, it, oh, yeah. It, it's, just, it's just boring. It's boring to me. I it need is. to change it up. I mean, <laughs> yeah, well, it's our, our generation, my parents' generations, and I'm sure y'all, y'all's parents' generation, you know, like my parents do buy the same meals. Mm -hmm. They go to Walmart and buy the same stuff, <laughs> cook the same meal. They do the same thing. It's a routine and routine and routine and are <laughs> branching out, <laughs> branching out. Well, Gordon and I are pretty boring. <laughs> Whatever, you were a game warden. I bet we could sit and talk for freaking days. <laughs> well, now I see, the thing is, um, the fact that you guys like have a boat you know, you come to places like this, and you go fishing. That to me is extraordinary. There are people that aren't doing that. Oh, yeah. So that's yeah. what that's the type of things that I mean. Like there are people that I know that go to work Monday through Friday, and that's their life. Yeah. They don't even never been on a boat. Don't do anything like Long that. Free. So it's just it's just yeah. black and white life. So yeah. that's that's the type of thing that I mean by, you know, I just with all of you know everybody that's just passing away. You know, and the things that you guys talk about people losing memory and all that kind of stuff it's like there's no way i can live a life that's not extraordinary in some way you know i, I can't stand the stack you know just being stagnant yeah i had to do something so yeah my mom she was like wow i can't believe you guys really got an rv and just left yeah. and we did well, even yeah. at, our age, at 50 i mean our parents were saying the same thing mm -hmm. like what mm -hmm. what well, at 50 and we're like we're late what are you talking about yeah like, start late by all means, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, as long as you can do that and take care of yourself, exactly. that's amazing. Absolutely, exactly. yeah. But, yep. you know, some people just, I mean, they're not looking for your, you know, like your uh, fun and yeah. different. Yeah. They're not looking for somebody to take care of them. Right. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a right. problem with them. Oh, of right. course, exactly. of course, yeah. Me too. Yeah. No, and it was, and we you know, when I first, of course, I worked for the school district. Right on. And uh, anyway, and I thought, oh, I don't know if I can do this. You know, we ran. We had cattle sure, and sure. stuff. And yep. So there's always something to do. And there's always yep. a weed that comes up exactly. that you need to dope or exactly. cut or something. Mm -hmm. So. You know, and I thought, what am I going to, I'm not sure I want to retire yet, because I, I mean, I enjoyed See, it. I it was the challenge, parents, it was, yes, you know, but. I wish my parents would get away uh, from the farm. It's like, there's more life, you know, than the farm. Yeah. You got 13, 15 grandkids, you know, <laughs> get away from the farm. Well, but, but I, the ironic thing is, I thought, well, I finally decided to retire, came in, I thought, what am I going to do all day? What am yeah. I going to do all day? Yeah. By noon, I thought, this is great. Right. Yeah. There you go. There you go. No, so but, now, you know, yeah. I've, I've seen, I've, like, come across that a lot. People that are at their retirement age, they don't want to retire. And I'm I like, know, you just, why? Well, Live you know like, what, it's, you know, and of yeah. course, what you have to think about, are you going to be able to enjoy it? Sure. You know, I didn't want to right, yeah. retire and then not have money to even go to Walmart. Of right. course, right, right, yeah. Well, and, and again, you bring it back to the government. Y'all, parents' age and, and generations that have worked all their life to save for their Social Security and pension, my parents can't even enjoy 
yeah. extra things because they're so penny pinching off their social uh, security yes. and retirement. And I'm already aware that it's not going to be there it's when he and I it. retire. Yeah, it's not no, going to be there. They've already said it. Yeah, they said it. It's, it yeah. So, yeah. Because the credits and all that crap that you have to build up to get this amount. Yeah. I mean, it's a joke. It's a joke. Yeah. So and, we were and like. To see our parents suffer. Right. You know, having to pinch pennies and can't do anything because they worked all their life and this is all they get. It's sad. Yeah. It, it's really sad. Well, and that what you did, you know you have to you know you have to do is not depend on that exactly right exactly you know, we that's yep. just a bonus exactly. that's our play money there you go but yep. uh yeah that's the only option you have don't depend on yeah. it i yeah, mean it's well, not going to sustain you yeah no. nope. Or it's not going to give you the enjoyment of the life that you're wanting. Exactly. Oh, of course. Exactly. Yeah, you'll retire yeah. You and then be dirt poor, be, basically. Yeah, you mm -hmm. can eat. You can stay alive. But I don't know that you really want to you know, right. have any fun at it. Exactly. No, at <laughs> exactly. all. At all. You, the, most you, the most fun you'll have is probably walking, sitting on your porch, watching everybody, and then going back yes. in the yes. house. Yes. <laughs> that's pretty much. That's a lot of people. For a six pack of beer, we might be okay. There you go. <laughs> there you go. That would be my dilemma. <laughs> That would be mine. Oh man, he's getting good at that now. I know you it. need to put a sign out here: fish cleaning. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Twenty dollars. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, I love this. Yes, I'm gonna get started. <laughs> like this, I need to find an old umbrella yeah. and put it up over this and tie it yeah, to that pole. When you you basically want to cut station. down the middle. It's or, you know, cut these oh, things. that yeah. one has That'd a great. big yes. stomach. Of course, the people middle, that are going to gonna be in this to cabin, it. if it's too close, they're going to have all these people coming up here to clean. Oh, my gosh. Oh, sure. Maybe I'll just oh. offer it to, you know, this side of the this side of the area. Yeah. Or is there another place that's kind of out? Um, you know, I could probably open? do another. There's another spigot over here on the back wall of those five cabins right there mm -hmm. i could probably do the same thing back there yeah honestly so you wouldn't have everybody, yeah, split everybody up absolutely i love it man these ideas i love Could've it just... catfish right there, 101 right come on and join <laughs> maryland on the other side. i was just like well go on I'm telling gordon i said i can't believe those girls yes. are pulling up those stumps she was almost neck yes anymore. she was she scuba dived <laughs> good old maryland <laughs> She took one for the team today. <laughs> Hi. No, that's a big one because it has so much stuff in it. Ew. They have taught Daryl and Nabria and me and anybody that's listening. <laughs> yeah. On YouTube. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Hi, I'm at her. Yes. Yeah. Hi. So how do you spell your name? N-A-B-R-I-A. -A. Nabria. You know, us Germans have nothing good. <sighs> Our names are not good. Nobody comes up with something cute. <laughs> <laughs> and what yours is what? What's your last name? Eckert. Eckert. Which I can't do anything about that. Eckert. Oh, yeah. But yeah. you know, my mom could have come up with something more original. Right, right. And you know what's funny is Gordon's sister is Diane, mm -hmm. and she spells it. Most Dianes, uh, so I'm told, are with one N. Mm -hmm. Both of ours are with two Ns. Wow. And I told Gordon, I that told everybody, man. Gordon married me because we wouldn't have to remember two Right, names. there you <laughs> go. There you go. That I already so knew that. This is that little thing I was telling you about. Yes. This right here. Yeah, try not to pop that. You can always wash it off, but... What are the okay? Those big white balloons. Those are the those are lungs. Their those are their like their lungs. Their lungs. Yeah. It's full of air. Yeah. I wish we would have gotten one that had eggs. Really? Yeah. Do you eat the one. eggs? No, 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 oh, no. These okay. are fish eggs. They've got millions of little bitty eggs. No, yeah. I was. That's what I was like wondering. Cause I mean. Can you just eat eggs from any fish, or it's, no? It's, no, so you it's don't not, eat the eggs. No, no I was they're just hatching. They're just you can tell how many. Well, yeah. I cut after that. Okay, now yeah, you just start kind of cut this around, right around there, so you can kind of get in there and get the guts out. Just cut it along along that fin. Cut your so you can get in there. Okay. Cut this right here. No, but I was wondering, can you make any type of fish egg caviar? No, uh, no it, it has to be about the size of a pinhead. Okay, they're so itty they beady, itty beady. So they have to be like legit packaged as caviar in order for it to be. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that that's good now. <laughs> okay. And then cut cut this one. And what? It's so you avoid this. 
may just kind of cut your poke your knife through there if you can and cut it so you don't and then you just like Gordon I think did last time just reached in here and tried to pull the guts like that or start from the back wherever you can get this out now just take all that out. yeah you want to take all that out can't pull it and you may you can get your knife and just kind of cut around the skull there a little bit so it loosens there you go. Is this one yours babe? Mm -hmm. And then there's that pretty soon there's gonna be that bone he was telling that yeah you wanna try to break that off. So how long have you guys, like, what else do you guys, so you clean deer and all kinds of stuff like that? Mm -hmm. Really? And we, you know, we butcher, we, oh, uh, well, like last year, we butchered, we killed, like, six deer, and wow. then we buy pork to go with it, and we fix homemade sausage. Wow, okay. And deer steak, and that's what we live on. Really? I mean, we'll buy steak and ribs, but that's, a, and we grind our own hamburger. Yeah. You know, mix deer meat and pork. And, uh, no, it's way better to get because you don't have any process, yeah. any chemicals or anything in your meat. That yeah. is and wow. It's cheaper. Yeah, of <laughs> course. Wow. But then, you know, we raise cattle. So people that okay. buy beef yeah. and buy steaks is good for us. Yeah, <laughs> right. That's what my parents, we've been slaughtering and I've recently been vegan for, I guess, about six months. But really? I was on it. Yeah. And, you know, I see white packages out, and it's just a mindset, I know, but I, <laughs> I'm kind of turning this way just because, I don't know, our kids, again, yeah. they're like, just try it, Mom, just try it, and batter it like chicken, and now it's like, we season it so much, I can't really, and if it's making them happy, then, Yeah, it's, it, it's you a know, choice, I mean, you, yeah. I'm, you know, it I, is, it I'm is okay, choice, I'm okay sure. with anything, if you want to do that, yes. that's fine, and I want to do that, right. Right. We can still right. be best friends. Exactly. Yeah, of course. You know, That's the way to be. Go, I don't want to do anything because they're weird. Right. Oh my right. gosh. That yeah, and, and it's so. People. I'm sorry. It's right. so weird. That's where everything's turning. It's like if yeah. one person likes one thing and another person likes another, they can't be friends. Yeah. And I'm just like, right. yeah. oh my goodness, what is wrong with everybody? Oh, we got one more. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> or they have one more. They have one more. <laughs> <laughs> Wash this off a little bit. I'll wait till you see the fish and the turtles and everything jumping where they jump it. Oh, it's here. I'll clean this one. You can start this. Okay. Okay.